Yeah, so I've just been recognizing that whatever it is that you want to experience is like an overlay that's already here that you just haven't made visible. You know how when you're playing around in Photoshop, you can, on your canvas, you can have several overlays and you can click on the little eye thing and right. make one invisible and one visible. Yep. So, it's exactly what I've been contemplating. <laughs> it's, <laughs> well, and it's it's it just for one thing, and we've talked about this before. We have a tendency to take what appears right now to be, you know, the only possibility. But if the universe or what we experience as the universe is a field of you know infinite information or infinite possibility, then doesn't it make sense that it's you know, this moment and, you know, whatever other thing you want to experience are equal in their presentness. Like, it's all here. So Whoa. this moment is a canvas, and what appears in this moment is like an overlay that you click on and click off, that you switch on and switch off. Totally. Yeah, it's it's seen through your structure, and the structure limits what what's really there. If you think about the holographic every part contains all that is and all that is contains every part then you can actually say every part is contained within every part as well so the coffee cup sitting on your desk exists everywhere and every when right now and the only reason you're seeing it where it is is because you're seeing yourself from that perspective you know yourself as consciousness and that's why it's there but it's there because of your the perspective that you're looking through, but it actually exists everywhere and everywhere, and everywhere and everywhere is actually the same thing. You know, every every mm -hmm. where is really just a different frequency of time. So it's you know that's why it's it's time space. It's, it's the same same dimension really, one dimension. And you're just looking at yourself through whatever perspective you choose. Down to every last detail where everything is placed is because of your perspective. But it actually exists everywhere, potentially. It's just infinite. Yeah. And it's it's also equating or, or putting everything on the same level. You know, we have a tendency to go, okay, well, this moment is actual, whereas everything else is potential. Yeah. But it's all equally potential. Yeah, and that's that's the same when you when you try and make things bigger in your life, like you, you try and make your dream bigger than where you are right now, you, you're not seeing that... You, you're trying to make the dream more important than you, you deem yourself to be right now, but you're not understanding that you, if you can imagine it, then you already are that that you imagine and you dream to be. It's just a different perspective of you. So all you have to do is take the action that downloads in your imagination to become that. It's so simple. You're already it. So you, you literally just have to say, well, I'm choosing this. Why, ask yourself, why am I choosing this perspective right now? And you'll see, you know, there's always a reason for it. So you'll see it and you'll see that you're trying to show yourself something. And it, it, it makes it so much easier to, to shift into your dream because you realize that, Right now, it's not, it's not a big deal, you know. It's not. We make such a big deal out of what is manifest, but what we see in our man, imagination is manifest as well. It's just a different perspective. Yeah, and it's it's that word different. Different doesn't mean it's not here. Like it's, I can't find the wording for it, but <laughs> I keep saying it's equally here. It's just as as here. It's yeah. It's all on the same level everything's neutral and that's that's our gift we have the the ability to give whatever meaning and and we're giving meaning to ourself you know you everything is the extension of you there's nothing outside of you and and ultimately there's nothing inside either there is no inside or outside yeah it's, there's no division it's just you can go in forever and out forever it's just infinite so there's no actual outside of you or inside of you yeah, and in and out are actually the same movements. There is, yeah, there isn't a. 
There's no center, no relativity, really. Exactly. For there to be in and out, yeah. Well, the, the way I see it, as I said before, every if every part contains all it is, and every and therefore, logically, every part has to be contained within every part as well. So, it's tr it's trippy, but you have to ask yourself, why is this object that I'm looking at? Why does it exist there? And and if I can move it move it across the table. It's not you moving the object across the table. It's you as consciousness moving through frames that already exist. And, and it's giving the illusion of movement. But it has to exist where it's moving already. It's just how physics works. It's a complete illusion. So it has to already exist in those frames that you move it to. So therefore it has to exist potentially everywhere. Yeah. Or it's not even moving to because moving implies that you're actually doing something but it's more like Changing you're tuning mind. into yeah. that other reality in which that object is over there instead of over here because all possibilities exist right now all the possible locations that my coffee cup can be at exists right now in this in this very space that I'm in it's all here and if you so, if you actually resist the coffee cup, like if you push against it, you expand the universe. You just you, you just created a new potential, which is pretty cool. And that's how we expand the universe. You know. And but it's instantaneous, and it's it's simultaneous to to your resistance towards it. That's what's pretty cool. That's why it's so. That's why the ego is so amazing. The personality. That's why we're here. You know. <laughs> to play. <laughs> Exactly. It, it's so. It's just so funny when you really get down to it. It's the only logical reason for all of this craziness to exist is for the fun of it. It's just nothing else makes sense. No, I was thinking about this earlier too. Just the whole idea of perception. You know, whatever you think you see right now, you, you're seeing through your physical apparatus. All right. Like you can't perceive anything if your physical apparatus is in a, a certain state. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you see this particular frame instead of another equally probable frame is conditional on, it's, it's completely conditional on your physical apparatus being calibrated to a certain pattern or to a, to a certain frequency, I guess you can say, is the more you anchor a consciousness of possibilities, the more flexible you allow yourself to be in what you perceive physically. Well, I mean, all the stories and things that you have in your imagination are literally other versions of you existing right now. It's the same. I've been um, receiving lots of kind of just speaking directly to personality that I'm that this the old oversoul of me is living right now and it you know it's in your you you receive it in your imagination but you you just know that they're living right now you're living as that person right now you know and it's a completely different on, on and on different planets as well as you know if you think about that what you imagine as your dream like what you're what you really desire if you think about okay well if my past lifetime is simultaneous and I can chat to that person then obviously what I'm downloading in my imagination is just a future future version that I already am as well you know there's just so many versions of you and you can ch choose whatever perspective you want to be right now it's just yeah. 